When I think about my work, I often think about the first day of school, um, that wonderful time of, of the year when all the enthusiastic and excited children are coming to the very first day of the very first um, time they're there. I remember thinking, I remember um, when I was standing there at the beginning of first grade, the very first day in the doorway, thinking, oh no, oh my. Being nervous, but also being excited and enthusiastic and, and eager to learn. And if you'd asked me that day, what are you going to learn this year? I'd say, I'm going to learn to read. I'm going to learn to read this year. And across the country, Millions of children have that same experience, the first day of kindergarten or the first day of first grade. They're so joyful and the enthusiasm is so huge. And if you ask them, what are you going to do this year? They say, I'm going to learn to read. Because that's what you do in school, after all. And most of them will. Most of them will go on to be amazing readers and do really well in school. But some of them will walk through that door and they won't remember the letters that everybody else knows and they won't remember the letter sounds that everybody else can, can say. And they'll have trouble reading the words that are on the page that everyone else can read so effortlessly. And maybe in the same classroom, or maybe a different one, there'll be someone who can read anything that you put in front of him. And in fact, he's been reading since he was three, but he has a really hard time understanding what he reads. And when the teacher asks those dreaded comprehension questions, he doesn't know the answer to them and wonders, how do the other kids know that? Those kids, the kids who find learning to read difficult, are the reason I do the research that I do. For the last far too many years, I have been doing research on the complex puzzle of reading, trying to figure out the component parts of it so that I can help develop interventions for children to make it easier for them to learn to read. Right now, I'm doing that by learning about the emergent literacy of young children with autism. We are, um, I began this work when, because when I moved to Seattle, I had a bunch of um, special ed teachers ask me, what do I do with my kids with autism and reading? And I had to say, I don't know. I, I don't have an answer for you. I know a lot about what works with lots of different kinds of kids, but I didn't know what worked with that group. And when I went to the research to find the answer, it wasn't there. So for the last four years, my team and I have spent many hours with, um, collecting data from and working with 150 four-year-olds with autism around the Puget Sound. We're in eight different school districts, which is pretty, quite something. Most of my team actually is here today. It's the only large group study that I know of with this population looking at reading. So we know a lot about what works with young children without disabilities. We know reading books with them is a really good idea. And if you talk about the book with them and ask them questions about the pictures and the story and get them talking, we know that that will build language and develop vocabulary. But we don't know that it'll work with young children with autism. We also know that if you sing songs, tell, uh, play games, say silly rhymes to develop phonological awareness, it's a really good idea to do that with young, typically developing kids. We don't know that it's a good thing for preschool teachers to do with children with autism because many of them are already reading by the time they reach the end of preschool. Our goal is to figure out if these two interventions work with this population, if they're effective, and if they differentially, say that fast, why don't you? If they <laughs> differentially prepare kids uh, for the reading instruction they um, will encounter in kindergarten. We're still collecting those data. We're actually going to be out in the schools in another month, so I don't have any answers for you yet. We're analyzing it. Believe me, I want to find them probably more than you do. But while the magic of reading can open up the world to anyone who wants to try on a new identity or a new place without leaving their chair, reading itself is not a magic that only some children get. It's a puzzle, and we're starting to solve it so that everyone can be successful. Thank you. <laughs>